look at these two traction boards. That one is actually okay. If you look at how, see how this one's sticking up a little bit and this one's laying on the ground. This one's okay because that hole was dug pretty well. But generally speaking, it needs to be up like this. If this front end's up, what does that tell me about the other end? Down, it's under. down and under, right? So if you're, if you do this number right here, oops, mess that up. If you do that number right there, the chances of the tire just going zzz and just melting through that traction board is pretty good. So. So you want to go a little bit further underneath and you don't just set it there you want to jam it under there and then even do this little number oh yeah that's a good one right there. There go. <laughs> so it gets a good bite and gets good traction so when he goes whoop, he's up and out and the back wheel will drive right over it. um what if it's only two wheel drive could you put the boards under the back wheels yeah yeah they have to go under the back wheels but this is easier because it's four wheel drive and you guys can see so, if your driver does not know what he or she's doing, switch drivers. Then you need to make sure you remind your driver, or if you have a driver and you don't know what you're doing, nice and easy. What happens if Mr. Woods gets in? Is like, <clears throat> it's like, the same thing is going to happen, right? Or with the way the diffs work, uh, all that all that torque from the engine, the car is going to be like, oh, I'm not going to engage these tires, right? So it, it might not, if, or if there's a well, it's totally done, right? we're not going to get into it. So even with the high revs in drive or in low gear. The wheels might not turn, or now well, we're not going to do, do differential. Sorry, sorry. All right. So we don't want him to floor it because one, we don't want to burn through our traction boards, and really you want to be in low gear and one or two, and just foot off the brake. And sometimes, if you're in four high and certainly in four low, sometimes the truck will just already work its way out. If you have good traction, you air it down, and you re removed all the resistance from all the tires, sometimes the truck will already want to start to go, and you just have to just tap the gas a little bit, and it'll be up and out. Once the truck gets up and out, what does the driver need to do? Continue. Don't stop. Very good. Do not stop. <laughs> so one, if you're the crew and, or, and, or, and the driver, you need to be like, what's my exit plan, right? So what would the exit plan here be? Where do you want to get to? Uh, yeah, onto the Camino, right? Onto the road, right? So I want to make sure all that area is clear, up and out, and you're just going to go for it. You're not going to worry about the gear you leave behind. You're not going to worry about anything else unless there's, unless there's something like, you know, life or death, something like that. So up and out, and you're just going to go for it without flooring it, and then just maintain momentum, which is kind of the name of the game in, in driving like this. You're not trying to go fast. You're not trying no heavy, heavy on the brake because that's wants to dig your tires in. Just maintain your momentum up and out, and then that's the All right. Um, let's say that doesn't work. What do we do? The winch. Not the winch. That's going to be last. The cable. Okay, we're gonna pull them out. What's the difference between a toe strap and a snatch strap? Anyone know? Yeah. Besides my son. All right, so a toe strap, which is what you buy at any Walmart or whatever, and you'll, there'll be a rating of like 10,000, 15, 12,000 pounds or whatever it is, is meant for towing and it is static. So if it's static versus dynamic, what does that mean that it does or doesn't do? No stretch. stretch. Very good. Stretches or it doesn't stretch. So a toe strap does not stretch. Does not stretch. A recovery strap or a snatch strap stretches. So if I back my truck up and we hook them up and we'll do this here in a second. Um, and I attach the toe strap to it. And I back up, so they're gonna, my, I'll back up my truck to, I don't know, maybe like right here or so. And I'm like, you ready? So I was like, I'm ready. And I just take off. What happens when this goes? It's gonna rip. You, no, you stop and you bang your head. Yes. Very it's happened good. before. It's happened before. Very good. So all that energy from my truck is gonna be transferred through the tow strap into this truck. But, Paul's right there. Let's say I do the same thing, except I'm using the snatch strap. I back my truck up here, hook up both trucks to it, and I just take off. Boom. Is that the same amount of energy? Yeah. It is, right? Because it's the same truck going the same speed, doing the same thing, hooked up to the same truck. But what in what manner is that power transferred and delivered? It's delivered into the rope. 
smoother and over time, and so progressive, right? So think head. of, think of if I, if I had a piece of 550 cord, and I tie and I tie it to, I tie it to Evan's finger, and I have it on here, and the 550 cord, which doesn't stretch, I'm just like, Krah! right? What's Evan's fingers, Snap. right? Versus if let's say I have a rubber Sorry. band. If I, and and, and uh, Evan has one rubber band, one end of the rubber band, I have the other end of the rubber band, and as hard as I can, I do that, now what happens? Uh, right? Well, that's assuming the rubber band doesn't break, right? <laughs> and so it's going gonna, it's gonna to stretch it, all the energy is transferred to the rubber band, and then the rubber band wants to contract, and then it's going to, and it'll be a smoother pull, right? So if you want to picture that, that's what, another way that you, that you can picture it. So, you can pull somebody out with a toe strap, but it is unsafe and could be detrimental to the truck we do all the time in the border patrol i absolutely hate it here's the other thing that we do um so uh toe straps real quick so one you're going to start as light as possible i'm just going to give it a little bump i'm just going to back up maybe just about this much slack i'm like yeah, yeah and i'm gonna go and i'm just going to give it a little bump and right and that might be enough with mr woods on the gas a little bit and these other measures like whoop, get him out if were connected by anything what happens when this truck comes out it's going to want to go forward if they stop same as before which is what keep going. keep going right so the plan is if he gets out and i'm like and i see him or i feel it both of which happen i'm going to drive we're driving all the way to safety we're not going to stop right there like hey i'm out we can stop <laughs> now we're just stuck again right we want to clear this whole obstacle so we're going to drive connected by whatever it is all the way out to the camino make the turn get up 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 I'll come to a stop, he'll come to a stop, we'll take everything off, load up, and then we're on the road. <clears throat> the other problem with this, which you can see this on, don't look this up without your parents' consent on the internet. <laughs> the very, a common way to hook these up, oh, shoot. Um, then go into the back of the truck, and there's a, 